From the opening theme's first note, Baywatch promises action, romance, and the chance to see some skin. It was about Pamela Anderson and all these beautiful girls. This California dream. Borderline playmates running around in the sand. Like, I can see why it was popular. Baywatch will grow into a worldwide phenomenon, but the show was born out of two down and out riders who go to get high. And our agent said, look, you're screwing up. You've got to come up with something. So Doug and I went to the beach, smoked a joint, we're walking along trying to think of what kind of show can we do when we see a lifeguard run down a tower, run into the surf, pulling people out caught in a riptide, and here come these yellow trucks with lights and sirens and boats are coming from offshore, and everybody's in bathing suits. How could no one have ever thought of this before? I'm Michael Burke. I created Baywatch, executive produced and wrote. There's Abby. <laughs> It was created with my partner, Doug Schwartz, who I think is probably going to be appearing in this show. Michael is not only my first cousin, he's also my best friend. Nobody believed in the show originally because they did not understand a show about lifeguarding because there's never been a show about lifeguarding before. They said, no, Beach Boys, who's gonna watch people getting tans? How many different rescues can you do? Greg had just come back from the filming the Olympics as a documentary, and it shot all those, those sprinters in slow motion and stuff. He still had his equipment, all his camera equipment that he hadn't turned in. And we edited it to Don Henley's Boys of Summer. For the promo, they cast their friend Mike Newman, a real lifeguard. It was the Southern California lifestyle with real lifeguards and the action adventure. It was the beach and beauty and the sunsets every night. And once they saw that, they got it. Grant Tinker, who was the president of NBC and, you know, Mary Tyler Moore and all this other stuff, he watched it. He goes, it's great. I get it. It's action packed. It's beautiful. But I don't think there's a series in it. So do a movie. But I want you to put panic in the title. So we wrote and shot Baywatch Panic at Malibu Pier. When it's time to shoot the movie, they recast. Mike Newman is demoted to a bit player, and the role of head lifeguard goes to this man. Here is David Hasselhoff. <laughs> David Hasselhoff starred in Knight Rider. We also cast Billy Warlock, Eric Oliniak, Erica had been in Playboy. NBC said, no, we won't cast her. We stood up for Erica Liniac, and they finally gave in. This out! All right, circle clockwise. Johnny, you all right? I forgot everything we learned. You remember when you hit the water? Go! Not only was Panic at Malibu Pier successful, but it was the highest rated movie on NBC the entire year, and they greenlit the 22 episodes of Baywatch. After season one, Burke and Schwartz meet with the studio, expecting to be ordered back to the beach for a season two. What happened was uh, Grant Tinker, who was the chairman of GTG Entertainment, Grant said that NBC has decided to cancel the show. GTG, because they were so bad as a studio, went out of business. There was no one left to finance Baywatch. Baywatch is over. You guys can pack up your stuff. Everything's done. So it was the worst day of our lives to have a, a series canceled that we really believed in as much as we did. That's when we went to a Passover dinner with Uncle Sherwood Schwartz. My Uncle Sherwood Schwartz, who was the creator, executive producer, showrunner of both Gilligan's Island and The Brady Bunch, he was a big fan of Baywatch. And he said, look, Baywatch is your Gilligan's Island. Don't let it go. Go see if Grant Tinker will sell you the rights back to Baywatch. So we literally went to Grant Tinker and told him that we would like to get our rights back. So he sold us the rights to Baywatch back for $10. Everybody thought we were crazy. They never thought we'd get it back on the air. We paid $10 for Baywatch, put the old gang together. Hasselhoff not only signs on to star in the second season, but he also becomes one of the show's producers. Burke and Schwartz hope his popularity internationally will help to secure the financing to make the show in syndication. He was a big boost, and we raised about $600,000 per episode from Europe, especially Germany. And with that, we launched in syndication uh, September of 1991. 